advice I would like to give you on becoming a champion or being good at anything, whether it be your profession, don't be afraid to make a mistake. It's our mistakes that gives us the drive to succeed in what we want to accomplish. I had a lot of good friends that encouraged me to become a champion at what I do. My father worked with me continually, and so did my mother. My sister encouraged me. So I think the number one ingredient to become good at anything and to accomplish something is to have a lot of good friends that encourage you. When I discovered that I loved to work the yo-yo, that was 50% of being able to accomplish something because I didn't mind practicing. In fact, I really did love it. When I walk in where I'm going to have a yo-yo performance, a lot of times people will say, well, you don't look like a yo-yo champion. And I'll say, well, what is the yo-yo champion supposed to look like? I think a lot of times people associate working a yo-yo as you're supposed to be a nerd or you're supposed to uh, be peculiar. But basically, a yo-yo is a very skillful thing. And they will ask me, how do you light matches? And I'll say, well, really, it's not difficult. All I do is put sandpaper on the yo-yo and do loop-to-loop -loop and strike the match. This doesn't take much practice if you're coordinated. And the more you work the yo-yo, the more coordinated you become. I can juggle three balls or four balls, and it's all due from practicing the yo-yo. What it develops is your eye-hand coordination. I work with children that have problems with their coordination. And we have learned that they've had 100% improvement by working the yo-yo. So I can't encourage parents enough to buy their children yo-yos, not for them to just be toys, but to be able to help their eye-hand coordination and develop their dexterity. I want you to stay with me a few more minutes because I would like to make you an offer.
My offer is this. If you can duplicate the 10 trick routine that I do with the yo-yo, I will give you $100,000. But I must warn you, I'm the best yo-yoist there is in the world. When do you know you're a professional? It's when you make the same mistake twice and come back the third time and do it correctly. It's not the mistakes that keep you from reaching your goals, it's the brooding over them. To be successful in what you want to accomplish, you must enjoy it through your learning time along the way, or in the end, it will not be worth it.